So my mother was the first woman doctor in Oshkosh, and she really paved the way for myself, my brother, and over 10 cousins who all went into medicine because they saw, you know, what their aunt was doing or their mom was doing, and saw, this is cool, this is what I want to do too. So I grew up in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, so elementary, middle, and high school was in Oshkosh. Um, I went to undergraduate uh, and medical school at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. Uh, went to residency at the University of Minnesota, cardiology fellowship at the University of South Florida, uh, and interventional and endovascular training was performed at Dartmouth um, in New Hampshire. Um, and then after that, I moved back to Oshkosh and I've been practicing since 2012. Um, I take care of patients that um, have heart disease, um, they can have rhythm problems, they can have atrial fibrillation or ventricular uh, arrhythmias. We also treat patients with heart failure as well as coronary blockages, peripheral vascular patients, patients with cholesterol and high blood pressure issues. So really it's a fairly broad gamut of patients that uh, I do see. Cardiac and peripheral vascular medicine is all about lifestyle. Um, you are what you eat, you know, and uh, you know, one of my attendings used to say, I can either give you a carrot or a stent, you choose. But you know, making someone have, make good dietary choices, make good exercise choices, um, stop smoking. Those things are as important, if not more, than the medicines that you use, and much more important than me putting a stent in. If we can prevent you from having a heart disease or prevent you from having peripheral vascular disease, we've won. It's less expensive. It's better for you. And then we don't have to do the other things in the future. Um, and that's really what we should be striving for in medicine in general. I think things that really make me a successful physician is the quality of listening. Uh, the quality of actually being able to talk to someone and having them able to be comfortable to tell me their issues, tell me their problems, and we work on these together. Um, I, if I give you a whole bunch of medicines and you don't trust me, that's not gonna, you're not gonna take them, you're not gonna take the, what, what we're gonna do. You know, you and I together can have um, a relationship, and then with that strength of relationship, then I can get you evidence-based medicines and go.